Hey, hey guys. Hello and welcome. Welcome back to Toozy Tuesdays. And I'm so glad you are here. My name is Toozy from Toozy Music. I'm a singer, songwriter, and a nurse, as a lot of you know. But I say welcome. If you are here for the first time, as I always say, you are here with a purpose. So welcome. Welcome to Toozy Tuesdays. Well, our topic for today is vacation or no vacation. So last week, if you watched last week's episode, this episode is a continuation of last week. So last week we talked about free time and uh, made some really interesting connection, things that I didn't know. That's what I always say, Tuesday Tuesdays is uh, actually amazing because I get to learn things that I don't know and I hope it's uh, have inspired you in a little, in, in, in some ways. But no, so last week we were talking about free time. And uh, we learned, you know, the, the effect of, uh, you know, not of having extra free time, especially right now with COVID and how it is on our health and wellness. And we dealt with, with uh, about five different dimensions. If you haven't watched it, I totally recommend it. Watch it. It was a great episode. And, uh, but we did conclude it that, you know, we get it. It is difficult. It's hard. Things are locked down. You don't have the motivation, but... We did say a but, but we need to start where we are. Use what we have and do what we can. And the reason is because our health, our health and wellness depends on that. You know, we need, we need to be able to do these things that we normally did, you know, even though we can't do it to the fullest right now, but we still need to keep doing some of these things to keep our sanity. That's just it. That is just it. But anyway, so today's episode is in continuation of that. And I have titled it, It is Free Time, but the subtitle is Vacation or No Vacation. So we are talking about people, you know, that don't understand the word free time. You know, I was saying that last week. I am a nurse, uh, as most of you know. And right now, nursing is very demanding. If you want to work every single day, you can work every single day. And I'm not joking, <laughs> not joking. Uh, but yeah, very demanding because, uh, you know, the hospitals are packed. We, we need people and it have been absolutely amazing that we have nurses came back into the workforce to help us out because of such great demand. Because, yeah, it is it is quite demanding right now. But not just nursing. There's other professions out there that, you know, we talking about free time. You're like, I have no idea what you're talking about because I have been busy, especially with COVID. It's been continual, like nonstop, right? And uh, but because I know nursing, I'm gonna stick with nursing. But yeah, this actually will uh, relate to other other uh, professions as well. But yeah, so you know, people with no free time. So people with no free to people who do not understand what we're talking about when we say you have a lot of free time. So nursing, like I started nursing right now is in big demand. I actually like just, I actually have not taken no actual vacation since 2020 because uh, when 2020 hit and the COVID the pandemic hit, I had taken vacation but couldn't go anywhere. So the hospital was very generous and said, you know what, if you don't have anywhere to go, you want to put back your vacation, we do need you to work. So yeah, we're able to do that, which was great. And uh, yeah, so yeah, honestly, since then, I don't think I've taken a vacation because like the question, why should I vacation? There is nowhere to go. There is nowhere to go. Why should I vacation? Why can't I just keep working and save that money? But we all know, like I said, why vacationing is so important, even though we have nowhere to go or why taking time off work is important. And I don't want you to get me wrong. I'm not telling you, I know there's a shortage, you know, there's always is. I'm not telling you, oh, Tuesday says, so well, we can be sure. No, I'm telling you to take, take some time off because, you know, Maybe you have two weeks. You don't need to take all that two weeks. Take a few days off. And why do we want to do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. 
And just for those of you who are here for the first time, I want you guys to know that Tuesday Tuesday, the goal of this show is to inspire, have some fun, and, uh, you know, add value. And in doing that, we learn to love ourselves enough that we can love others. So it's Tuesday's joke time. Well, we're going to have a joke and then we're going to continue our topic, vacation or no vacation. <laughs> so for today's joke, Today's joke is about uh, a grandfather. So this guy is out doing some, you know, yard work, somehow managed to hit his head and is rushed to the hospital for a possible concussion. And he gets there, there and the doctor comes in to see him. So yeah, he looks at him, he looks, he's like, yep. Yeah. He's thinking definitely this guy have something going on. And when he got to see the, when he got to the guy, he asked him, he's like, you know, just a question need to check, you know, memory loss or anything like that. And he said, do you know where you are? And the guy like, yeah, purple up. And he says, yep, I'm at Rex Hospital. And then he said, do you know what city is in? Do you know what city this hospital is in? Of course, he said. Bam, he, he said, where the, which city it was in? And this doctor is like kind of checking his nose, you know, what I happened compared to the answers this guy is giving. He's like, okay. So he's like, do you know who I am? Still for a little pause. And he's asking, do you know who I am? And he said, oh, yes, you're a doctor. You are Dr. Hamilton. And the doctor now is like, okay. So while he's going through his notes, he, uh, this guy, the, uh, the grand, what, what the doctor's going through his note, the grandfather look over to the nurse that was in the room with the doctor. And he says, well, I hope he doesn't ask me any more questions. And the nurse looked at him and said, why? Why shouldn't he ask you any more questions? Why shouldn't he ask you any more questions? And he said, well, because all of those answers were on his batch. <laughs> oh my goodness, the Roscoe old man, eh? <laughs> But how many patients do that, huh? How many, it, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's totally to a therapeutic relationship building. And once you build that, of course, they can tell you more. But yeah, they don't know you. They want to, you know, especially if he doesn't want to stay at the hospital. He gives you the answers you want to hear. <laughs> That's so funny. I thought that was a funny joke. So I hope you laugh because here at Tuesday Tuesday, we do sh share some laughs. And so... Why vacation? Why should we vacation even though we have nowhere to go? And here we go. So, according to, you know, the smart people out there, and something you already know this, I'm pretty sure you know this when you hear it, like, yeah, it makes sense. But why vacation? Why is it important that we take vacation even though we have nowhere to go? You know? And this this uh this 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 is sentence that just sums this up like perfectly and i think this is very well said and this is why it says rested employees are more productive employees rested rested employees are productive employees and you know i don't know about all the jobs but i know you know, not taking vacations and not doing all those things, you know, it has like a significant negative effect on your overall health. You know, we talked about wellness, all the different dimensions of wellness. We, we, dish, we touched on five last week, you know, working all the time and forgetting your social wellness, you know, your physical wellness. I know about me, I don't know about you, but when I come from a 12 hour night shift or 12 hour shift in you know, there's some people that's very disciplined. I must just say that. Bravo to you. Good job. Good job. But me, when I come from a 12 hour shift, the one thing I want to do is take a shower, eat, then sleep. So yeah, there goes my social life. This goes my physical and my, you know, and all of that because you're tired. You've used so much of yourself that you need to re-energize. And that's why vacationing is so important. And like that phrase says, rested employees are productive employees, are more productive employees. And it's true. You know, having vacation takes away, like, limits your, your, your burnout. 
you know, burnout, which is a big thing. And we all know, like we, I always say this to, uh, you know, to people I'm teaching at work or like even nurses, we just talking and we know that burnt out nurses are not good nurses. We know that because things that you were supposed to laugh about becomes very annoying because <laughs> you are tired and it's true. And it's not just nurses. It's like, like every, every single profession, because if you're not taking vacation, you're burnt out, you are, you know, burn, being burnt out is, it's not good. It like hinders your productivity and, uh, you know, your effectiveness at work, you know, and why it is very important that we have each other's back. You know, we don't want our floors to be short and stuff like that. It's very important that we take that time. You know, I get it. We're not going anywhere that we want to go, but you know, if you're a family person, this could be a great time. You know, when last did you talk to your kid, your kids about their favorite things? You know, was it when they were like very young? I don't know about your kids, but my kids did change every time. So, you know, it's it's a good time to catch up or even a good time just for you to just relax, you know, relax a little bit. I know I say relax. I say, if I don't know that when you're home, you don't really get to relax. But the fact that the pressure of work, not thinking about work is off a little bit that actually helps you rejuvenate that when you get back there, you can actually, you know, be more productive. You can be more productive. So vacationing is very important and it's very good for our families as well. You know, our family, you know, they don't say very much, but you know, when you, when you're away from your family all the time, it's, it's nice to have that time, you know, to just be home or just have a family time. Just a time that, you know, Oh, I mean, you don't have to go to work after it. It's actually kind of nice. But overall, despite family or whatever, it's your health. It's really, it's, it's your health aspect, your wellness piece. You need to be able to take that time off. So yeah, great job. Like I'm not saying a lot. I'm very proud of every single nurse. You know, nurses that have come back into the workforce, so proud of you. And uh, nurses that are there right now, not taking breaks because they know how important it is that we have a, you know, a, a staffed floor. But I want to encourage you. I'm not saying take your full two weeks vacation. I get it. You don't have nowhere to go, but take some time off, you know, and I'm going to take my own advice here. That's the thing about Tuesday, Tuesday. It relates to every one of us, to me as well. I, it, the goal is to inspire you know, and to add some value to us. So take some time off and spend that time, you know, re, re, reconnecting with your, yourself again, because I don't know about any other profession, but when you're in nursing, when you're in a hospital, it's about your patients, not about you, you know, they're first, all of a sudden they become your priority. And which is, which is amazing. It's true. It's good. But you know, our vacation time is when we can actually get back our sanity and, uh, you know, you know, relax a little bit, which is a great thing, which is a great, great thing. So, you know, guys, that answer that we were fighting over on, on our break there, why should we vacation when we have nowhere to go? That is your why, because rested employees are productive employees. And you know the drill, a burnt out nurse, ain't a good nurse. So take some time off, take some time off. And I'm taking my own advice, like I said, and we're going to take some time off. But guys, this has been Tuesday Tuesdays, and I hope you were inspired. I hope you learned something from today's show. And uh, we will be back here next week with another episode. The hope is to have Nurses with Talent back. I have a few nurses lined up, but last week has, was just so busy. But next week, we will have a nurse on the show. Nurses with Talent will return next week. But in the meantime, figure out, take some time off. Take some time off for you. Take some time off for you. You deserve it. It's okay. Take it. Take some time off. Spend that time. I know you're not going anywhere. I get it. But take some time off because it's very, very good for us. It's very, very good for us to be able to take some time off. And your, your family's going to really appreciate it too. So here you go. There you go. That's a more reason. But anyways, guys, thanks once again for watching Tuesday Tuesdays. And I hope you have a great day. Bye for now. Love ya. Bye-bye.